some basic tips for developing grammar awareness. We don't teach grammar so much as we develop an awareness of its use. First of all, the cure for almost everything, lots oh, lots of authentic writing. Teach grammar in that context. Authentic is writing is writing for real purposes, just like we do in the real world to describe your ideas or your observations. There's nothing wrong with a worksheet. It's a tool, but its effectiveness is dependent on how that tool is an end, it, the, how that tool is used. All right? It's a tool. They are a means to an end, but they are not the end in of itself. The goal of worksheets is not to complete the worksheet. The goal is for students to be able to write. That is our goal, to write effectively. If you're going to use worksheets, they're best used in pairs so students can talk. They are a learning device, and too often they're used as a measuring device. Our job is to be teachers, not measures. Skills instruction, yes, yes, yes. Explicit instruction, but keep it brief and quickly paced. No matter what you teach, you're going to have to hit it a couple times. That's just the way of it. You're not going to master it in any one lesson, and if you spend too much time on skills, you get in the way of actually writing, and that's what we're here for. So use explicit instruction. Uh, use many lessons. Keep it brief and quickly paced. Get it out of the way. As far as grammar goes, use posters or bulletin boards for reminders. Look for common mistakes in students' writing, and make mini lessons based on some of the mistakes you see, but poster reminders. You want to get students talking about their writing as much as possible, reading each other's works, responding, asking questions. This way they see that if they hear someone else interpreting their writing or asking questions, they see that lack of grammar can get in the way. So they naturally learn how to fix their grammar. They learn from hearing good grammar and the stories of each other's. Which leads to number seven, Promote voluntary reading. Voluntary reading is the cure for almost everything as well. Students are immersed in language and they get a general sense, an innate sense of the structure of the language. And I can always tell my students when I taught freshman comp at the U of M who had done a lot of reading in high school because they had that natural sense of structure. Those who hadn't read, their writing sounded like high school kids talking. And then peer editing, which I will show you in the next video. We'll be looking at specific strategies for developing grammar awareness.